Hi guys, welcome back on my channel Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today I'm going to show you a step by step how to recreate those beautiful look and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial if you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up almost every day and if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much for all your likes, comments, shares and the support you are giving to this channel. Let's start! So I've got my uh, holder for the tips. I put a tiny bit of the blue tag. Blue tag is like a um, plastiline kind of stuff. And that's how I keep it in place. And also I like those ones because they've got metal uh, parts which they don't break as easy as the plastic ones. So they are much, much better. Especially that's quite often we, we use a force, you know, to do some things. So uh, this will be awesome. But today in this tutorial, I will show you one stroke. Uh, I would still call it level one, uh, but very effective. Uh, I'm just buffing the tips. So what you would do is you would paint a client's nails. The, the color you have chosen and it can be any kind of color. I'm actually going to do it on a white base Just so you don't watch me painting like on all sort of different colors uh, Over the nails and we will do a tiny bit of the sponge uh, Sponge technique ombre for a quickness So just clean it Okay, that's the way how I prepare my tips and then I've got a piece of the sponge which I'm going to clean it uh, on the back of the form and then we will do some nail art so say let's do a bit of sponging in here and this color so I'm cleaning the sponge and just doing a very delicate ombre I don't want it to be too strong just a very delicate Going from the darkest to the lightest. Okay, just dab it in. And then the white. And then dab it in. So I'm cutting a fresh piece of the sponge for every color I'm going to use. And this way we have created some nice ombre. Give it a cure. On this one we are going to use white and yellow. And the yellow, that's a hundred ninety-eight. Lots of lots of touches. Give it a cure 
And then on this one, let's do blue. And for the blue, I'm using 201. I like to keep those sponges like so I could use it for a uh, for the next designs as well on the piece of form and what the form protects them from the dust okay so I'm just dabbing it the blue is highly pigmented so uh, we have to be very careful give it a cure and then the second layer, we don't need to do it necessarily the second layer, but I want to have a nicer blending. So white and this purple. Make sure there is no fluffy bits and pieces. That's why we've got the um, back of the form to remove any excess of it, okay? And then the yellow one. And the blue. I'm kind of massaging it as well, not only dabbing, because if you only dab, then you can um, create some air bubbles, so watch for that. obviously the more times uh, the more you press it um, the more movement you do with your sponge the nicer blending you will get okay that's plenty then the top coat and then we can start painting the beautiful designs so it is a level one I'm not fussy about um, the perfectness of the design so I can uh, use the matte top coat but if you really want a perfect uh, petals then I suggest you buff the top coat okay so I'm just applying quickly the matte top coat on the buff surface um, one stroke looks better then the yellow one Let's actually give you a full idea of what you could do. So you could put, paint all the nails yellow and then on the ring finger and the middle finger you would do the ombre design and the uh, one stroke leaves. I think they look super cool. Okay. So the first one is ready. Oh, that was the first one. There we are. I'm going to clean it and then pick up my colors. So we are going to use the similar colors what we have used on the background. I think that will look great. So I'm squeezing out the magenta. Okay, so magenta is out and I need white. My one stroke brush and the D-liner brush. And with the D-liner brush, we are going to paint some line first. 
So make it nice and watery, like really watery. And paint some nice and thin line. And then here paint some nice and thin line. Okay, so we have even longer this one, why not? Okay, so we have painted two lines. And now we are going to do those um, petals. I will just squeeze out a drop of the yellow as well. White with the drop of yellow and magenta. Mix those color well. And we are going to start painting those leaves. And go to the top. Like make sure you've got plenty of the paint on your brush. Okay, so we've got one leaf. Then the next one. Press it really hard with your brush and then go to the top. Really gentle, hard to the top. Now white and yellow touch the yellow and we're painting the other side. One leaf on the top. Going to the top. And then the other side. So I want to place them in the gaps. So I've got a gap in here. Press it hard to the top, bring it down, first one in. Touch, 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 press it harder, go to the top. And I think those design isn't too complicated, uh, but it looks super pretty. And then one small one. To the top. Okay, in this way we have created really beautiful leaves. And the next one. Just going to clean my brush. Remove the excess of the water, shape it, and pick up the paint. In the gaps. And I think it looks so pretty. 
it's not overly too complicated and it looks amazing. Okay, leave it to dry, clean your brush and then we've got the yellow one. So for yellow one, I'm going to use some green and yellow. So squeeze it out some green. And we will paint slightly different one just so they are not exactly the same. Nice and thin. And using a one stroke level one brush, I'm going to paint it different leaves. So white and yellow and a green. And this time we are going to paint the leaves with the one touch of the brush, okay? So add the angle to the top. 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 And same here. Add the angle to the top. So super quick design. Like really, really quick. I'm just going to touch them up. You don't have to, uh, it's only if you're really fussy. Clean the brush, remove the excess of the water. Okay, and this on maybe the top one, one more time. That's great. So we've got some leaf one. And then the last one. Something in blue. So I'm just squeezing out the blue. The liner brush. So this time I'm going to paint like a kind of branch. Okay. 
and we are going to use the demaster brush so that's the one stroke level two i can also show you the difference in between the sizes of them as well white and a blue and we are start painting those leaves at the angle to the top another one in here at the angle to the top Then leave the gap and we are going to paint three leaves here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is also a good way to practice uh, your one stroke, to um, exercise your hand. And the last, or maybe not last. And I'm sure even if you're a beginner, you would be able to paint those designs. And they look super cool. You could stick a couple crystals in there or something. So it's a really touches of the brush. And we have painted another branch. So three slightly different, which I think look super, uh, super cool. I'm just going to top coat them. And once we put the top coat, everything pops out even more. So the top coat over it. Give it a cure. Top coat. And of course you could do it on a plain background. Uh, I just felt like doing this ombre in a similar colors which we have used it for the uh, one stroke will look super cool as well. You could paint it this way like almost a cherry blossom tree as well, like just swap the colors. Um, yeah, so let me cure them, clean my hands, and then I can show you what we have created today. Uh, if you try those designs, you can hashtag Dorota Palicka on the social media, especially on the Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow me, just head there as Dorota Palicka, and uh, I will be able to see your work. And I'm glad because already quite a lot of you uh, hashtags me in there, so I've got a chance to see it uh, too. That's, that's almost the first ones. So we've got one, two, and a third beautiful design, very quick 
and easy. And you would do it only on the ring finger, like on two fingers, and the rest nails can be the same color. Uh, that's what we have created today. I'm sending you glittery hacks, and bye for now. Thank you.